Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, the setup is a little bit different today. I feel like my last few videos, just the lighting has not been up to the standard that I like. And I think it's just because the weather here, it's been really cloudy and I just feel like I can't rely on good lighting, natural lighting. So we're pulling out the studio lights today and we're just gonna test run this out and see how it goes. Um, but for today's video, I just thought I would do a little bit of makeup therapy for myself. I'm kind of in a little bit of a funk. The kids are out of school for Christmas break and it's been a little bit overwhelming to say the least. Um, it's just been a lot. I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old. Both are boys. I love my kids to death, but it can just be a little bit much and it's been really, really cold outside. So um, usually like literally from the time we wake up till the afternoon they are playing outside but it's been in the low 30s so we have not been able to play outside for as long as we normally do so anyway chris took the kids out of the house to go run some errands and so i have the house to myself and I just need to kind of decompress a little bit and I wanted to put a little bit of makeup on. I also made myself a fancy Nespresso. I just pulled out all the stops for this because sometimes you just need to unwind and for me, makeup is definitely something that I like to do when I'm just a little bit stressed or feeling anxious and it doesn't have to be a negative feeling. Just anytime I just need to kind of unwind and just redirect my focus, I'll just put a little bit of makeup on and I find that it makes me feel a little bit better. So that's what we're doing today. So if you are feeling similar to me or you just need to unwind from your day or from your week, grab something to drink, grab your makeup bag, um, and let's just do a little bit of makeup together, do a little makeup therapy. I haven't done a makeup therapy session in a while either and I'm so sorry. So I'm gonna do one today. And we're just gonna sit and chill and relax. And if y'all were at my house, this is what we'd be doing. We would just be sitting here doing our makeup, chit-chatting, having a beverage and just relaxing. So I hope that you can enjoy this time with me as well. So cheers and let's get into it. So I just have my makeup bag here and then I pulled a few things just so just to kind of spruce up the the makeup products that I'm using I if I were to just use the products in my bag it would be like the most boring thing ever the same products like over and over again so I decided to pull in just some products that I haven't used in a while so I kind of shot my stash a little bit so I'm first going to start with a little bit of under eye corrector. I've not been sleeping very well either. I find that when I am feeling a little bit overwhelmed, I it's very, very difficult for me to go to sleep because it's hard for me. It's already hard for me to turn my mind off at night and just to kind of shut things off, especially just kind of working from home. It's hard to shut things off when you're at home. So and then on top of that, when I am feeling a little bit more stressed than normal, it's really hard for me to go to sleep. So I'm gonna take my Bare Minerals Correcting Concealer. This is in the shade Medium One. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this right here in the sweet spot where uh, my tiredness is most visible. I normally don't use correctors. I'm not a huge fan of correctors. I think there's a time and place for them, but I think for the most part, they're kind of gimmicky to to an extent so but i do feel like having something on the under eyes is especially if you do suffer from really dark under eyes or just blue kind of purplish tones under the eyes i think applying just a little bit of a a peachy tone orangey tone kind of apricot tone right in the under eye really makes a difference all right so i'm happy with that now I'm going to do a little bit of coverage for the whole face and I pulled out my Jane Iredale Glow Time Full Coverage BB Cream. Um, I'm in the shade BB4 and I haven't used this in a long time and every time I use it I'm like, why don't I use this more? Because it really is such a beautiful product. Um, with this, a little goes a long way. It's very, very full coverage and I actually did a full review on this so um, I'll find it and link it below if you're curious. It's an older video but I think the information is still good and valuable. So I'm just going to dot this 
around. Like I said, you don't need a lot. And I feel like when I am having those days when I'm just doing makeup to kind of just feel better, I definitely do lean more towards full coverage because I don't know, I just feel like it's like a transformation thing when you have just this flawless base. It's like you feel like a totally different person. I don't know about y'all, but so I definitely uh, tend to gravitate towards more full coverage products when I'm having a, a little therapy session of my own. Um, and this is a really nice one because it's not too, too heavy. But we are one week away from Christmas as I'm filming this and we just finished all of the Christmas shopping. Um, I'm not one of those people that shops throughout the year. I'm not super responsible when it comes to shopping for Christmas. I usually wait till November and December to do my Christmas shopping. Um, I don't know. I just like to do it in the moment. Um, so we just finished the Chris our Christmas shopping for the boys and three-year-old asked for a scooter and an alligator from for Santa that's 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 what he wrote in his letter to Santa he wanted a scooter and an alligator um, because his older brother Liam who's five has an alligator a stuffed animal alligator and he doesn't have one so he asked for an alligator and then my five-year-old asked for a monster truck he's super into trucks really just anything with wheels he asked for a monster truck with a controller so that he can control it. And then he asked for a blue fire truck, not a red fire truck, blue fire truck. You know, always got to keep us on our toes. But if you are a parent, uh, let me know in the comments down below what your kids asked for Christmas, for whether from you or from Santa. What did they ask for? And put their age I'm always curious to see what kids are into these days. All right, so I am using the Rare Beauty Concealer. I really like this one. Definitely on the more full coverage side, but I'm just in the mood. Also, when I'm feeling lackluster or, I don't know, even just sometimes when I'm feeling tired, and I have to take the kids to school and I'm like, I just don't feel like, I don't feel my best or I feel gross. Like, I feel like I just don't look good. I always like to throw on a pair of hoops, little gold hoops. And I don't know, they just kind of, they make me feel better. <laughs> I don't know what it is. So I don't know if y'all are into Vlogmas, but I've been watching um, a couple. It's hard to watch a bunch because it's every single day so it's it's really hard to keep up with just the couple that I watch um but I have been watching a couple um so Julia and Hunter Havens they are some of my favorite vloggers on YouTube they actually live in the same town that I live in so I think it's really cool seeing where they go and where they eat and things like that because it's all very familiar so I like watching them she does a lot of fashion so if you're into style and fashion and things like that. Um, she's someone that I would highly recommend to watch and follow on Instagram. So I've been watching their Vlogmas and they're a, a husband and wife. And then I've been watching Landmas from Alana Davison. I absolutely adore her. She's definitely one of my favorite YouTubers besides Shelby Wilson. Um, but yeah, so she's doing Landmas, of course. But those are the two that I've been watching. So if y'all been watching Vlogmas, um, let me know in the comments also what Vlogmas you're really enjoying. You know, it's like I said, it's kind of hard to watch a bunch, but I'd be curious to see what, what Vlogmas that y'all like to watch and who y'all like to watch. There's just so many, it's hard to keep up. All right, I think I'm going to add a little bit of color to my skin. And I'm going to use my Manasi 7 Bronze Lighter in rose, Rosite. That's what it looks like. It's a really pretty kind of rosy bronze shade. And definitely when I'm feeling dull and just kind of blah, I like to go a little heavy with the bronzer and the blush and the highlight. I feel like it really just amps up the skin. Pretty. I don't really know if this is a blush or a bronzer or a highlighter. I think it's just kind of an all-in-one blush, bronzer, and highlighter. 
really pretty product and I've really been enjoying this brand. So if you've uh, never tried it, Manasi 7, they make some really great cream products. Their packaging is gorgeous. I love their website, like their website is so beautiful. And um, if I had my own makeup brand or skincare brand or something like, their whole aesthetic is so up my alley. It's so gorgeous. Um, but they make some really beautiful products. All right, so what do I wanna do? I think I'm gonna go ahead and powder. I'm just gonna take my milk powder. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just putting makeup on, just kind of going with the flow, doing what I feel in the moment. So I was thinking for the new year, I really wanna try and get Chris to film more videos with me. Um, we've done the husband does my makeup video. We've done, like he picks my makeup. Um, a few years back, he actually bought me a full face of makeup. Um, but if y'all have any ideas or things that you want to see, let me know because I'm trying to come up with some ideas to do with him because I think it'd be fun to film more with him this year. All right, I'm already feeling a little bit better. Just feel a little bit more put together. I don't know what it is. It's not like a, a vain thing, like I have to wear makeup to feel good. It's just... I don't know, just sometimes just the act of doing makeup can be so therapeutic. All right, so what do I want to do? I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter. I think a little highlighter is always good. Uh, this is not a clean product, um, but this is MAC Double Gleam, their extra dimension skin finish. So. It's also nice to kind of reach for nostalgic products and nostalgic brands that have memories associated with them. I know I've mentioned this before, but like for me, makeup, I associate memories with makeup. Some people associate it with clothing or jewelry or food, um, which I think I also associate memories with food as well. I love food. But makeup is definitely something that I associate memories with and I, I remember very vividly memories about certain makeup products. So MAC for me is definitely like a very nostalgic brand. I'm also going to use the Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Tan. Yeah, Medium Tan. Just to warm up the skin a bit. Um, a great alternative to this cleaner alternative would be the Kosas, um, the Kosas baked bronzer or the PYT bronzer. Um, there's only one shade of that one, but those have very similar finishes. All right, and then for blush, I'm going to use my Cover FX Monochromatic Blush in Soft Peach. I think I'm just going to use the matte side today. Nothing like a warm peachy blush to just liven up the skin. It makes such a difference. All right, so since I am using quite a few powders, I'm going to mist my face down. I'm going to take my Honest Beauty Calm and Go Face Mist. All right, so I'm going to do some soap brows. Because why not? I've just been really liking the way they look. Been want I've been going for just like a super, super bushy brow, like kind of over the top. Um, I don't know. Just into it. All right, and then to fill in the brows, I'm gonna use my PYT brow pencil in warm black. And I'm just going to very lightly just kind of fill in the gaps. Just kind of go in these upward strokes. All right, I think I'm happy with that. All right, so for the eyes, hmm, I don't know what I want to do. 
All right, I think I'm just gonna use my Beauty Counter Romantic eyeshadow palette just because I'm kind of inspired by these colors. Um, and I definitely tend to gravitate towards purple when I'm in a funk. Purple is my favorite color. All right, I'm gonna start with the shade Brulee. This is not gonna be like a makeup tutorial or anything, but I'm just kind of show you what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna run this in my upper crease towards the brow, and we'll just kind of take it from there. All right, and then, oh gosh, okay, I think I'm gonna take Dusk, which is this one right here, and just kind of dust this all over the lid. Just a really light wash. I'm gonna take the, the shade Flush, this one, and just kind of sprinkle that on top. All right, I'm actually going to take a smaller brush. I'm going to take Brulee again, which is that matte shade that I applied through the crease. And I'm going to take this along the lower lash line. All right, and then I kind of want to have some fun with this. I'm going to take my Bodyography Glitter Pigment in Aura Glow. Such a pretty color. This is what she looks like. So pretty. And I'm just going to pat that on top. And actually, if you have a Netflix account, you just watched a show called Turn. It's so good. It's so, so, so good. Um, it's really good. It's about George Washington's spy ring. It's good. It makes you feel so patriotic. So like, God bless America. It's really, really good. The acting is really good. The sh like just the show itself is really good is very well made so if you have a Netflix account I would definitely check out that show uh, there's only four seasons I say only there's four seasons they're actually pretty lengthy seasons but man it's good I'm trying to think we don't watch a lot of TV the only time we watch TV is in the evening after the kids go to bed and then we usually have time to watch, you know, a couple episodes of a show. But yeah, we don't tend to watch a lot of TV. Um, I know I've mentioned this before. Outlander is amazing. The books are incredible. The show is incredible. Uh, it's on Netflix. Only the first, I think the first three seasons are on Netflix. Not all the seasons are on there. Um, but it's so good. It's a stars show. So if you have stars, you can watch all the seasons on there. But that is so good. We're, we're just waiting for the next season to come out. But the books are amazing too. So if you're looking for a good book, the Outlander series is really good. Um, it's definitely not one you want to watch with, you know, children in the room. It's quite intense. There's a lot of violence and language and just all of it. It's just a very intense show, but it's really good. Again, kind of centered around, it skips along the time, like the timeline through history, but it is kind of centered around that same time period as turn, like the early to mid 1700s. I think it goes all the way up to the 60s, 1960s. Um, they kind of play around with the time, but yeah, really good show. All right, so for the lips, I'm going to take this Chantecai Matte Stylo. This is in the shade Meadow Sweet. This is part of their new holiday collection. I just did uh, an entire video dedicated to these, so I will link that up here. But this is one of my favorite shades. This is a brand new product, actually, that they launched. Oh, they feel so good. And then for lip liner, I'm going to take... Subculture by MAC, one of my OG favorites. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of gloss. I'm gonna take the 100% Pure Fruit Pigmented Lip Gloss in Naked. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. Oh, I do not even know what to do with my hair. I need to get it colored. I need to get it cut. It's already getting so long. It's almost touching my shoulders. Like, no, got to get it cut. So the bun is about as good as it's going to get. 
So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that this was just a time for you to sit back, relax, even if you didn't do makeup, just to kind of sit and chat and enjoy a beverage or a snack. Um, I think it's nice to every once in a while just take some time, whether that's doing your skincare routine, doing a little bit of makeup, and just doing any hobby that you enjoy. It doesn't have to be makeup or beauty related. It can be anything. Just kind of refocusing your mind and your energy into something else just for at least an hour to kind of get your mind off of things. I think that is so helpful, so important, um, especially for those of you who have kids. Like, sometimes you just need to get away for a second. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, hopefully that the quality of this video in terms of the lighting and everything was a little bit better. I, I always try and use natural light. I love natural light. I think it's just there's nothing that compares to it. You really cannot replicate natural light. But with that, you know, it's just, it's hit or miss. And I just feel like for me and my schedule, when I'm ready to film and when I have time to film, I have to do it and I can't have anything be a variable. So I might have to kind of use these lights for a little while, especially since my kids are not in school. So I might have to be filming at ungodly hours. Um, but yeah, so hopefully this video, the quality was okay and everything. I hope y'all are having an amazing day so far, an amazing week. Christmas is coming soon. It's coming. It's going to be amazing. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.